In this video, I show you guys my latest Pokemon cards purchase, a $5,000 vintage expansion. Let's go. Yo, what's up guys? Welcome back to the channel. Hopefully you're all doing good. Now, you guys will remember about a month ago, the first video that I made on the return after my one week break was a $15,000 Skyridge Master Set purchase. And I'm happy to announce today, I am back with another similar purchase. So this binder you guys can see down below is from the exact same seller that I bought my Skyridge set from. But of course, this is not Skyridge. Instead, this is a set called Aquapolis. So Aquapolis was released in 2003. It is the 14th English expansion, and it was the expansion just before Skyridge. And there were kind of three sets in the E-Series Wizards of the Coast production. Expedition base set, Aquapolis, which is this one, and then Skyridge. So there are kind of like three E-Series Wizards of the Coast expansions. Again, with a similar number to Skyridge, there are 182 cards in this expansion, as well as the reverse holo variants. So I'm really excited to show you this one. It, the purchase actually came around in a really unique way. So I actually did bid on this. I bid on this uh, set the exact same time as I bid on Skyridge, but unfortunately I missed out. My bid was £4,500. It ended up going to £5,500. That was the winning bid. Weeks went by, you know, I was just chilling, minding my own business. Then the seller, Jamie, actually messaged me and said, Look, the person who did win the Aquapolis set ended up pulling out or they ended up not being able to pay for it. So are you interested in this set? And I was thinking, yeah, I'm, I'm really interested. So he actually sorted me out with a really good price for this binder. And yeah, I wanted to sell it for £4,000, which obviously I jumped at. I was like, you know what? Great price for it. Great guy as well. It sounds good for all parties. Let's get the deal done. So yeah, anyway, enough waffle. Let's actually get into this. And I'm really excited, man. I've now got Aquapolis and Skyridge. Hopefully one day I can get Expedition. Um, unfortunately, I didn't win that from Jamie as well because he did list it. But uh, yeah, let's take a look at this and let's go through the binder together. So as you can see, I did uh, already transfer it into my nice Vault X binder. This is available on the website if you guys would like to purchase. Go and check it out. This is a 12 page binder. So as you can see, each page has 12 cards on it and it's a four by three rather than a three by three. Apologies for my lighting, by the way. It's really annoying when the cards are so high up. It seems to have like a horrible glare on it, but uh, hopefully you guys can still see this. You can pause it and zoom in. I'll zoom in a little bit as well so you guys can see some of the details on these cards. And it's just a stunning set. Same with Skyridge. The cards in here are absolutely amazing. Again, similar to Skyridge, there are 32 holo cards in this kind of H slash H32 um, format. So we've got the Amphros, Arcanine, Ariados, Azumarill. Guys, my recording software just stopped, okay? I've recorded this entire video and my recording software stopped because you'll see in the previous clip, I was trying to move my binder. Let me just zoom out a sec. I was trying to move my binder, okay? Forward or up so you guys can see the Espeon. And I ended up pressing the space bar on my keyboard there and it just stopped the whole recording. So I'm back now to repeat everything I said. But I'm not sure if I can even do it justice. But anyway, I'll show you the Espeon. I'll take it out so this doesn't happen again. But I was going to say, like, look how beautiful these cards are. Espeon, obviously, one of my favorite Pokemon of all time. Definitely in my top three. And this card is definitely up there with one of the best Espeon artworks. I mean, look at that. Where even is it? It's like it's in Greece or something. Like Greece, Santorini, Mykonos, something like that. <laughs> That's crazy. Really nice. Now, these cards are not all in PSA 10, obviously, condition. This one right here is really good, though. This probably could get a 9, maybe. Definitely an 8, maybe a 9. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm even going to grade them, you know? I'm not sure. I mean, I'm sure, I'm sure I probably will at the end of the day, but I kind of, I'm at the opinion where I either grade them all or I grade none, you know what I'm saying? So I probably will grade them, to be fair. And if you guys do need to get your cards graded, make sure you do go and check out Graded Gem. Graded Gem are who I use to send all my cards over to PSA in America. I trust them with each and every card that I send, and I definitely recommend that you would too. They are now an official PSA dealer as well, which means they get priority when they send their cards off. So yeah, if you live in the UK or Europe, there's no other option. And they also have now opened USA, Greater Gem, Greater Gem US. So if you do have cards to grade, make sure you do go and check them out. Link will be in the description. And I'm sure, I'm sure, I'm sure I will send these cards with Greater Gem very soon. It's just, like I said, I really enjoy having them in the binder. And if they're not all going to, I mean, to be fair, these days it's worth sending cards even if they're, you know, PSA 7, 8, 9, 10. Even in, you know, especially, especially with the Wizards of the Coast old school vintage cards. Um, but look at this Houndoom here. Definitely one of the best cards from the entire set. Absolutely stunning. The Hollow Fall is perfect. And uh, yeah, stunning, stunning card. Beautiful. Our K9 here as well. I actually do have this card in a 9. I bought it for £40, which obviously now is a steal. Um, but yeah, I love this card. 
Beautiful. Again, you know, it's not the best condition. I usually try and go for minty cards if I buy them raw, but because this is such a unique set and because it is, you know, complete with all the reverse hollows as well, I was like, you know what, let's get it. Just so I can, if I'm ever feeling down, I can look at it. Sometimes for me, it's that simple, you know, especially when dealing with collections like this. So we've got a Blissey there as well. Moving on to the next page. Bro, let me look at it. Look at some of these cards, man. Definitely some highlights for me. You've got the Scizor, Sloking, Ninetales, the Umbreon is really nice as well. The Suicune, Tyranitar, and of course, you guys have probably already seen it, the Crystal Lugia. Now, similar to Skyridge, obviously, Acropolis does have its own crystals as well, being the Kingdra Lugia and Nidoking. So let's get a close-up on this Lugia, man, because my favorite... Po I, I said Espeon is one of my favorite Pokemon, definitely my top three, but Lugia is definitely my favorite Pokemon of all time. My number one favorite, Lugia. Let's go. Let's take a look at this out the sleeve. Let's be very careful with it. And there you go, baby, my Crystal Lugia. This has been a card that I've been chasing my entire life. Never really had the, the balls to buy it, but now I've got it in this collection right here. And I'm really happy. Uh, I'm really happy to have it in my collection. Let's check the back out as well. Very careful. And to be fair, this is actually one of the better condition cards in the set. So I think obviously you've got some nicks in the corner. Definitely an eight, potentially a nine. We could see this getting a nine. And that's why I think I will send this set off because I will want to send this Lugia off to graded gem to get graded with PSA. And if if, if, if I can't find a, you know, lesser condition card to replace my binder, I'll end up sending it all off. Because I can't have an incomplete binder, right, guys? I can't have an incomplete binder, <laughs> you know? But, um, yeah, let's take a close look at this Umbreon card as well. You know what? Let's take a close look at many of the cards here. Umbreon right now. I mean, look at this. Hollow foil, the moon in the background, dark late night on some sort of, like, rooftop prowl in the area. It's just so cool, man. So cool. Look at the stars. Got a swirl there as well on the bottom left. The back of this one is, again, really nice. Really nice. Obviously, a big, big nick down there in the corner. So maybe an eight, maybe a nine. But um, I think I will get them graded. I know I'm waffling, but I think I will get them graded. Togetic, look at that. Beautiful. I mean, I'm so happy to get this set, man. I, I love this era of Pokemon, the E-Series. Even the rest of the E-Series, the EX era, I love as well. You guys know I'm trying to get those cards in PSA 9s and 10s. But look at this Tyranitar, man. This is really nice in the back. This could have a shot at a 10, you know? That could have a shot at a 10. I forgot to mention as well, Umbreon, Mr. Hero Arita. This is what I said in the first, <laughs> first run through. He's one of my favorite artists in the Pokemon TCG. And uh, this card is no different. Love, love, love this. Here we've got the Ninetales, two of them as well. <laughs> really playful, which is really nice to see. Again, another Min, Near Mint, Near Mint card. Very nice. Here are the other crystals, the Nido King and the Kingdra. Shout out to Josh. I know Josh has this card as well in his childhood collection, Josh Circa. Kingdra right there, hollow in the back, swirl in the back as well, very nice. Swirl here as well, damn, swirls get girls, guys. <laughs> Yo, so nice. So yeah, there you go, feel free to pause this, feel free to zoom in, do what you want to do if you want to take a close look at any of these cards. Moving on there, we have the all the hollows, again, in the non-hollow variant, which is why I like these sets, man. You get the hollows, the non-hollow hollows, if you know what I'm saying, like the non-hollow versions of the hollows, and then you get the commons and uncommons as well. Look at this, man. So it's just such a unique set. So unique. So nice. We'll flip through the rest of the binder for you guys to have a look. We've got two gold looks. So this is something to do with the way the... So these e-reader, when I say e-reader or the e-series, the reason these cards have these strips at the bottom is because you used to be able to scan these into the actual games and actually play with a certain Pokemon. So as you see the gold looks here, there are two of them. They're actually two different versions of the scan if you know what I mean, which is really cool. And, and again, makes these sets unique. Got Growlithe, really love the artwork. Chansey, looking really nice. Scyther, my I prefer Scyther out of Scizor. Scizor and Scyther, I'm definitely picking Scyther every single time. Two Drowsies look, same thing there with the scan. So yeah, I'm over the moon to have this set. I'm really, really happy to pick this up. And um, yeah, I'm really stepping my binder game up. You know what I realize? I realize I've got, so I've got base set, jungle, fossil, team rocket, base set two, Gym Heroes, Gym Challenge, Neo Genesis. I don't have Destiny, Revolution, or Discovery. I don't have Expedition Base Set or Legendary Collection, but now I have Aquapolis and Skyrim. So yeah, Neo Destiny, Neo Revelation, Neo Discovery, Legendary Collection, and Expedition. I need those five. I need those five sets, and then I've completed all of the... Not, in, not all in First Edition, some in First Edition, some in Unlimited, but, you know, just to have those sets in my possession would be really awesome. Um, Togepi here, look. Vulpix. Wooper, Psyduck on the swings. I remember this card as a kid, man. So, so, so nostalgic. We've got all the trainers here as well. Many of them. And then, again, what makes the E-Series sets or the expansions so good are the reverse hollows. And again, we have the same here. All the hollows in reverse hollow. 
and they look just as good. These aren't as mint as a Skyridge set for some reason. So I know when I was looking on eBay for the Skyridge um, set, they looked a lot mintier and they were, but oh, here and there, the some of the hollows weren't great, but you know, just in general. I guess what I'm saying is I wouldn't buy this to grade it. You know what I'm saying? It's definitely mintier than any cards you could find on eBay on their own. And that's the reason I decided to buy this set because you just can't find this amount of cards together in a, you know, in a complete set, in a complete band like this that are in this condition. And you know, even though they could be better, everything could be better, you know. There's always someone who's got a card that you want that you don't have, but end of the day, it's all about your collection and what you want, and this is an expansion and a binder that I wanted, no matter the condition. But the condition is also the cherry on top of the cake. So I didn't buy this to grade it, I just bought it, you know, to have with the option of grading it down the line, so we'll see. So there's no Lugia Crystal Reverse Hollow. So they don't do Crystal Reverse Hollows in Acropolis, they only brought that in in Skyridge, I believe. Um, so yeah, but again, all of the commons and uncommons in reverse hollow. Definitely, definitely a great set for me. Definitely a great purchase. Definitely a highlight. You've got two Mr. Mines there again, and um, all the energies, etc. So there we go. It almost fills an entire four page binder, 12 slot page binder, which is amazing. Um, so yeah, I mean, let's just go through once again. Let's take a little look at the hollows because they're stunning, man. The hollow foil, the galaxy pattern is just beautiful. And uh, yeah, I'm so blessed, I'm so fortunate, I'm so grateful to be able to have this set. Shout out to anyone who's ever supported me with my music or with my YouTube for me to be able to even afford to buy a set like this, you know. Um, so I'm forever grateful for you guys, I appreciate you so much. And uh, yeah, I think this is probably the end of the video, I'm not sure what else to show you guys. There's no pack opening, it's just pretty much just me chilling, just showing you a purchase that I made recently and how excited I am you know, for it. So yeah, thanks for watching guys. If you do want to see like a full binder video, maybe leave a like or join my Discord, I'll try and post it there or something. But yeah, so fortunate to have this set. Super, super excited. I mean, look at this Lugia, man. One of my favorite cards of all time. Now in my possession. You love to see it. And uh, one last look. Oh, baby. Look at this, man. Beautiful. All right, guys. I'm going to leave it there. I'm going to go and put these cards away now before I um, <laughs> before I cry or something. Uh, but, guys, thank you so much for the support. Leave a like on the video if you enjoyed it. Subscribe for more purchase videos like this, but also for some more pack openings, PSA send-offs, PSA returns, etc. And, uh, yeah, thank you guys so much. Check out Graded Gem if you want to get your cards graded. And I'll see you guys tomorrow for some more Pokemon content. For now, though, take care and peace out.